In this video, we will solve the problem number 7.27 from the chapter number 7. The problem is, modify the PAL diagram of figure 7.16 by including three clocked D-type flip-flops between the OR gates and the outputs, as in figure 7.19. That means you have to see this figure for the PAL diagram. And we have to modify this PAL diagram by introducing clocked D-type flip-flop. We have to add some clocked D-type flip-flops between the OR gates and the outputs as in figure 7.19. So you have to introduce this D-type flip-flops between the OR gates and the outputs of the figure 7.16. Okay, that is a PAL diagram. The diagram should conform with the block diagram of the sequential circuit. That means you have to make some connections that will make the circuit as a sequential circuit. That means there will be some feedback towards the input. The modification will require three additional buffer inverter gates and six vertical lines for the flip-flop outputs to be connected to the N array through programmable connections. That means we have to now feedback the outputs of the D flip-flops towards the input side and we have to define extra six vertical line for the flip-flop outputs that means the complemented and the normal outputs of the flip-flop we have to feedback towards the input through the buffer inverter gates and then using the modified register PAL diagram so the fuse map that will implement the 3-bit binary counter so after modifying the circuit we have to introduce some fuse map that will make the registered PAL diagram as a 3-bit binary counter with an output carry. So before introducing the fuses, we have to find out the flip-flop input equations for the 3-bit binary counter with an output carry. So first of all, we have to find the 3-bit counter equations. We have the inputs A2, A1 and A0. This is A2 of T plus 1, A1 of T plus 1 and A0 of T plus 1. These are the next steps. Okay, so for the present state 0, 0, 0, next state will be 1, present state 1, next state will be 2. Similarly for present state 2, the next state will be 3. In this way, you have to make this table. But now we have to find out the flip-flop inputs. Suppose we have three flip-flops, the flip-flops outputs are A2, A1 and A0. So for finding out these flip-flop inputs, we have to use the characteristic equation of D flip-flop. So we have Q of N plus 1 is equal to D. That means whatever we have at the input of the D flip-flop, it will come at the output. Whatever we have at the input of the D flip-flop, that will come in the output. Okay, that means this next state output is exactly equal to this present state input. Whatever be the next state output we need at this a1 of t plus 1 column okay this one column whatever we need we must apply it in da1 and whatever be the next state we want at a0 it should be applied in the da0 column now we have to find out the equations for this da2 da1 and da0 now we'll use the kmap for da2 and we'll find out the minimized expression for da2 Okay, so for da2, we have to see the a2 values. So for da2, we have these values 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so we have to put these values. So here we'll have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So how we can combine? So suppose this will be one combination. This will be the second combination and this will be the third combination so here we will have d a2 is equal to so from this combination we will get a2 a1 bar a2 a1 bar plus so from this combination we will get it is a2 a0 bar a2 a0 bar plus from this term this one term we will have it is a2 bar a1 a0 a2 bar a1 a0 okay so we have got the expression for da2 so we have to use this equation for putting the fuses in the register pal circuit now we have to find out the kmf for da1 and we have to put the values of da1 in here and we'll find out the expression for 
DA1. So for DA1, we have to see the second flip-flop input column DA1. DA1 is 0110. Then we have 0110. So we'll put these values now. 0110. 0110. Okay, so how we can combine? So this will be one term and this will be second term. So DA1 will be, it is A1 bar A0 plus A1 A0 bar. A1 bar A0 plus A1 A0 bar. Okay, so we have got the expression for DA1. Now we have to find out the expression for DA0. So for DA0, we have the values. The values are 1010, Okay, so we have to put these values now here in this KMAP. So here we'll have 10. 1 0 1 0 1 0 so this will be only one product term okay so here we'll have d a 0 is equal to it is a 0 bar a 0 bar okay so this is the equation for d a 0 so there is one extra step so when we have a2 equal to a1 equal to a0 equal to 1 whenever we have all the three values are 1 1 1 that is 7 then we have to clear the outputs of a2 a1 a0 equal to 0 that means we have to make the outputs equal to 0 so we have to define one clear input as well so here we have to define one carry output and carry output complement okay now let me explain this register PL circuit. So we are not given with the input equations for this diagram. Thus we have to make a 3 bit counter using this D flip flops. Okay, so these are the inputs 0 to 7. Suppose here we have 4 number of inputs. Therefore we have shown here 8 input lines. One for the normal value and one for the complemented value. And for this design as per the question we have to ignore this part we have to design the sequential part that means we have to make a 3 bit counter so for 3 bit counter what we have to do we have to use the d flip flop input equations so first of all here we have da0 da0 is equal to a0 complement so for this and get we have to connect it with a0 complement so here we can see this 11th number line is for a0 complement so here we will put a so here we'll put a max and we do not have a second product term because you can see here only we have d a0 is equal to a0 complement we do not have a second or third product term so these two engage will not have any input fuses okay so we have got here the d a0 because this is the a0 output so this flip flop input here will have the d a0 next we have a1 this D flip flop should have the input equal to DA1. So we have got the expression for DA1. The DA1 input is A1 bar A0 plus A1 A0 bar. Okay. A1 bar A0. We have to make, make first. So A1 bar A0. So here we have this A1 bar. This third last line. Okay. So here we have to put a fuse. A1 bar then A0. A0 is this one, so here we have to put a fuse. Now we have to add it with A1, A0 bar. So A1 line is this one, and A0 bar line is this one. So we have to put fuse here. So at this input, we'll get here this DA1. So this was previously DA0. Okay, at this input, here we have got DA1. We have two product terms and this and get will not have any input fuses next we have a2 so here we have to get da2 so for da2 we have to use the equations for da2 this is the equation a2 a1 bar a2 a0 bar plus so here we have a2 a2 is this one so put a future a2 a1 bar a1 bar is this one okay no no next we have a2 a0 bar a2 a0 bar a0 bar is this one line so we have to put a fuse here a2 a0 bar plus the third term is a2 bar a1 a0 a2 bar a1 a0 so a2 bar is this one last line 
so put a few here a2 bar then we have this one a2 this one is a1 bar this is a1 so put a few here this one is a0 bar so here we have a0 so put a few here okay so this is a2 bar a1 a0 so here you have to use all the three and gates here you can see we have feedback through this in buffer inverter combination this is a2 so here directly through this buffer here we'll have a2 and through this inverter we'll have this a2 bar here okay similarly for a1 we have through this buffer we have here a1 and through this inverter we have a1 bar here similarly for a0 we have through this buffer this a0 will come here at this line and through this inverter will have the a0 so this is the registered pal diagram as per the question that we have modified the circuit of 7.16 similar to the 7.19 introducing d flip-flop and we have achieved this registered pal diagram for a 3-bit binary counter with output carry thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you